Hey guys, it's Tiara. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I'd bring back something very nostalgic in the beauty community or rather the beauty um, view, beauty video world here on YouTube and that is monthly favorites. So before we jump right into the video, as usual, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, do hit the subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified as to when I upload a brand new video. Now that that's out of the way, let's jump right into it. The first item is of course my new found favorite foundation and this is the NAS light reflecting foundation I think that I have spoken quite a lot um, about this foundation so I'm not gonna go into detail about it but essentially what I do love about it is that I like how lightweight it is I like the amount of coverage that it gives me and it is buildable and I just really like how dewy and fresh it makes my skin look so I really enjoy this foundation quite a lot next up is a fragrance and just a backstory I don't really or I haven't been really into fragrances for the last couple of years that I've been into not couple of years like 10 over years that I've been into makeup um, Fragrance was just something that is always at the back of my mind. I'm always a person who knows what I like and I just use it like for a very very long time. But um, recently, because my husband has been into like fragrances and everything, so I decided that I wanted to try new fragrances and we went around the um, around Sephora and we started like smelling new fragrances and he smelled this and he really liked it and now I also really like it a lot. This is the Abercrombie and Fitch authentic um, fragrance and I knew that ENF fragrances were good and people had good things to say about it but I never really caught on the hype so when I got my husband to you know try out the different scents in Sephora like um, he picked this and I really love it a lot it's incredibly long lasting and when I did wanted to check this out like at the checkout counter the cashier or the sales um, associate there was like oh my god you made such a great you know purchase like I really love this fragrance it's my favorite and it lasts on me throughout the whole day even when I'm working as a retail uh, working in retail right so I was like oh okay I guess um, I made the right choice in purchasing this um, I highly recommend for you to kind of give it a whiff if you are in the store in Sephora or something I personally like it it's um it's not like a heavy scent it's quite fresh and it's long lasting it lingers quite well throughout the day and it just keeps me feeling and smelling fresh all right the next item is not a beauty item it's actually like a home item and this is the huga reed diffuser so i recently only got into this um diffuser and huga um obsession so if, interestingly i just stumbled upon this like when i was out with my family one day and we were just waiting for people to like go toilet and stuff so i went into huga and i realized that they were having like a 20 or 30 percent off discount store wide so i decided to like go in and smell the reed diffusers and who knows i wanted to you know like i should add it into my room or something so i went on one by one smelling 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 and i really enjoyed this scent this is the scent skyish blue and why i like the like reed diffusers is simply because like with candles like you know there's like the fire and all of it right and it's not I don't know like something about you know candles even though I really like them I do have I mean I have read that candles are not really that recommended or that good so I thought that oh maybe I can have a reed diffuser then I can just leave it there even when my air conditioning is on so that's how I fell in love with this and once I purchased it and put it in my room I was like oh my god I am never going to buy any other reed diffuser except from Huga and why I say that also is because the packaging I love the packaging I think it's very like well thought out in my opinion reason being I have had like reed diffusers previously and the base of the reed diffuser bottle was so skinny yep so you know how reed diffusers they kind of just fan out like this right so when like the wind blows or like for example my curtain accidentally like the wind blow very hard and then the curtain hits the bottle it just topples over and like all of the like scents will just you know spill and i'm like <laughs> 
that's like a waste of my money. So for this bottle, I feel like it's huge. Like the base is quite huge. Um, it's a glass bottle, and I really like that there's this rubber thing here so that it doesn't like easily topple or it doesn't slip and slide on the table. So I, that's why I really one of the other reasons why I enjoy this Reed diffuser, other than the fact that the price is reasonable, it lasts. Uh, I would say about two and a half months. I still have a little bit more. And the smell is pretty, like I'm very happy with the smell. It won't fill the whole room because, yeah, it's a reed diffuser lah. Not like it's going to blow anything everywhere around. But yeah, I've just been feeling like maybe reed diffusers are the way to go if like candles are not your thing. Especially if you have kids or something, or pets, right? Because it's like fire. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend um, Huga reed diffusers if you have not tried them yet um, already. So I wanted to talk about one last thing that I'm... Like I, I can I am obsessed with it and it is um actually scarves or like my tudung right or my hijabs. So these are the Edina Anis um tri scarf onesie. So basically they are just these like scarves that are stitched like at the um at the chin area. So all you literally have to do is just put in put your face through it and just style it however you want. And oh my god, this is a lifesaver for like emergencies, um, quick trips out to like the market or like to, you know, like nearby malls just to run errands or something. Or if you are just like traveling or something like that, I really feel like this is like the way to go. Like I keep using these scarves even when I'm going out because I do feel that because it's a jersey material, like it can look a little bit cash. But I've gotten to a point where I don't really care. I just wear it anyway because it's so easy, comfortable, and like you don't really have to think about it. Like no pins are required. It's just amazing. And they also came up with like these like glittery ones as well. So this, I think I wore this in one of my previous video, my bag collection video. Yeah, like I got this for Eid actually and it's just so easy. Like I cannot believe that on my first day of like Hari Raya Puasa, I literally was wearing like a semi-instant hijab and it looked really good like as though I put like a lot of effort in it so I am very happy with this scarf I think that it's great and it's definitely one of my favorites this month and ever since I got it which was like probably like before July as well it's just been a staple of mine and my mom's so we just are obsessed with it and we just keep using it all right you guys so that's the end of my um, little July favorites video I hope you guys enjoyed it um, let me know if you like watching this monthly favorites I mean I just thought of doing it because it's really like a throwback kind of thing um, but yeah let me know what you think about it if you like it I'll continue to do like short uh, monthly favorites every month if I can um, instead of doing like a super long current favorites video thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me this evening i hope you guys will have a great weekend ahead don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me and i'll see you guys soon in my next video bye